Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. By using that Excel sheet, in our previous some actual uh, I mean previous some lectures, I have just shown you that how well check for our P delta if its effect have on our building or not. Okay, so suppose um, we have P delta effect on our structure by chance. Okay, so then how will add that effect to it apps, right? So, before that, you have to understand about some topic. So, here, what is P delta? P delta effect and P delta analysis parameter. So, I'll suggest you please read that article. I will just uh, adjust that article link on description perfectly. So, uh, I just want to show something from here P delta analysis parameter in ETAPS. P delta analysis. Okay, P delta analysis parameter in ETAPS. Now, the question is how we will assign P delta analysis in ETAPS. So, there are two ways. The one is initial P delta analysis may be specified in ETAPS via P delta uh, defined then P delta option using either of the following two methods. So, they have two methods. One, non iterative based on mass and iterative based on load case. So, they have two methods. So, if you use that option, the software will automatically consider the P delta effect with respect to its mass. But they have some drawback local buckling is not captured as effectively. Right? And the benefit of this non iterative method is that P delta may be considered in load case which do not specify gravity load. When gravity load is specified, we generally recommend the iterative base on the load case method. That means, if we have, if we don't have, or if we do not specify the gravity load, then we can use the non-iterative based on mass. But if we use gravity load, or oh sorry, I'll, I mean, if uh, when the gravity load is specified, but if the gravity load is specified then we have to use or we should use iterative based on math based on load case okay so now what is the issue here actually iterative based on load case so actually there are also two method here one and here one and here the most benefit is the local buckling is captured more effectively okay and here they have some combination for our that iterative base uh, p delta effect so if we just come here we can see the sixth fixed load combination but the most effectively we will use for most effective work we will use a p delta load combination of 1.2 dead load plus 0.5 live load is typically conservatively okay when considering p delta effect due to the overall soy of a structure i mean if we use that option i mean if we use that load combination and uh, the software will automatically calculate with respect to the soy overall soy of the structure right so actually here is the issue and if you need to read more about that then i will just uh, request to please uh, read that article perfectly i'll just address that link on description and they have something p effect it may account for p effect effect which is associated with local deformation related to the cord between member ends we do not recommend implementing this method because it is significantly increase computational time without providing the benefit of useful information instant p may be captured through either of the following methods applying design factor which ETAPS is post processing assumes to be done the factor are therefore included in design when applicable divided member into segment at two per column at least two per column then run each load case separately when a different p delta load 
combination for each important so uh, for that important excel file that are also as associated you can take it if you need actually okay so that was the effect actually i mean uh, that was the details of our pdl type pdl effect and pdl analysis parameter so i'll request to you can watch i mean you can read that topic from given link i will just adjust that so now i will just open that excel file and uh, you know that how we will use that excel file perfectly so if you don't know, don't know then i have also attached that video link in description so i'll just minus and now i'll open and also this excel file is free for the member of my channel okay uh, who have uh, joined as a member i will provide that excel file for free and that uh, link are also given in description as a member you are able to download that excel file i mean if you are a member okay so here is our model now how we will assign p delta effect actually simply come here define then p delta options and from here there are two option non iterative based on mass so if you select that option the software will automatically consider software will automatically consider the p delta effect if required and this is the most recommended option iterative based on load okay so here we will define our load combination as per our um, the recommended combination so we will consider 1.2 of dead load and 0 0.5 of live load so dead load then again floor finish it is also dead load and partition all is also dead load and the live load the live load that will be 0 0.5 and live load rough this is also 0 0.5 so it's done then okay and after that simply you have to analyze and nothing to do anything actually after that because um if they have any effect or if there have any issue the software will automatically consider for that okay and after that you have to as usual analysis you have to as well check the building um suppose here there's different types of check uh, drift and soil limitation check, p-delta check, soft test story and x, uh, soft test story check, torsional ir ir irregularity check, the base shear check uh, and if you want to take that excel file, you can get that excel file from description, I have just uh, provided that link for this, uh, that I mean I have provided that link for excel file and also if you are a member of my channel, then this excel file is absolutely free for you, you can uh, take that excel file from description, so thank you. I mean uh, the link from description so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video